Before entering the patient's room, I have already assessed and cleaned the patient's peri area. Hello, my name is Janie and I will be your student nurse today. Before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and close the curtains to ensure privacy. Okay, and can I have you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Okay, thank you, Amy. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and ask, do you have any allergies I should know about today, um, such as latex or benadine, since we will be inserting a catheter? No? Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. And this bed is broken, um, but normally at this point I would raise the bed to a nice working height, but it's already there. And lower the side rails. Okay, um, now we are going to be doing a catheter and I will try to keep you covered as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and set up my biohazard bag. So how are you doing today, Miss Amy? That's great. Okay, and when I insert this catheter, um, you should feel pressure, but no pain. And if you do feel any pain during this procedure, just let me know. set my sterile gloves right here. Okay, I'm going to have to expose you for a second. And I'm gonna go ahead and position your legs. This, your legs just need to be far apart. I'm going to have to keep you exposed because I do have to put on sterile gloves. And touch this because this hand is sterile and I cannot put my hands below my waist now okay I'm gonna go ahead and get the lubricant ready throw this away Move my syringe I'm going to go, you're going to feel me um, touch your private area. Okay, I'm going to spread the labia. This hand is no longer sterile. So I'm going to clean away from me. Towards me. and then down the middle. Okay, and 
now I can insert the catheter. I will go ahead and lubricate the tip of my catheter. Put this on the bed. I'm inserting this into the urethral meatus. Okay, um, do you feel any pain? No? Great. I do see urine, so I will progress one more inch. Okay, so I need to go ahead and um, inflate my balloon. I'm putting 10 cc's of fluid in the balloon. Okay, and now normally this would go in the sharps container. Okay, I will go ahead and um, give it a tug just to make sure it's where it needs to be. And it is. And I will now tape the catheter to the patient's leg after I remove my sterile gloves. This is just easier to do without gloves on. And you want to make sure it's not um, laying flat on the patient's skin. Okay, so I will wash my hands and put on some clean gloves. You still doing okay, Amy? I'm going to hang this on the bed. Um, I'm making sure to do it on a part of the bed that does not move. Okay, and now I will clean my patient. Okay, and cover you up. And I do need to um, obtain a sterile specimen. So I'm going to, um, whenever I do this, make sure not to touch the inside of the container. So down here, I will remove, well, I will open my container. I will remove the spout. I would open it and pour it into the container, close the spout back. I would clean this with an alcohol swab and place it back in the catheter. I would carefully take this, recap it. I would um, time, date, and initial the urine sample and take it to the lab. And I'm going to go ahead and remove my gloves, wash my hands, and then normally I would lower the side rail, but I cannot do this in this. I mean, normally I would lower the bed and have the side rails raised, um, but I cannot do this um, because this bed is not working. And I need to clean up my area. Um, so I would go ahead and put everything into my biohazard bag. And I would discard of it according to um, institution policy. And I need to document. Um, for documentation, I would um, say the state that I left the patient, um, which is with the bed lowered, sirels raised, and call light within reach. Um, I would state how the patient tolerated the procedure, 
um, the cc's I put into the bulb of the catheter and I would also say um, the size of the catheter that I used and the urine color, odor, and amount and that I obtained a sterile specimen. Okay, so I will come back into the patient's room, this is now several days later, to remove the catheter. Hello, my name is Janie, and I will be your student nurse today. Um, before we get started, I'm going to close the curtain to ensure our privacy. Okay, can I have you confirm your name and date of birth for me? All right, thank you. Um, and we will be removing your catheter today. Um, do you have any allergies I should know about? No? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands, and I would lower the patient's bed. Lower the side rails. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves. And I have already emptied the urine from the Foley bag. Um, I did this prior to coming here today. And I would do that according to my institution's policy. Um, so. to expose you for a second and I'm going to take this paper towel to remove your tape okay and I need to deflate the balloon And I will take the paper towel, remove. Okay. And I will discard of this in my biohazard bag. And I will go ahead and um, clean the patient's hairy area. I'm going to act as if this is a paper towel because I do not have one with me. Cleaning the patient's period area. All right. Um, thank you so much, Amy. Um, is there anything else that you need? All right. Well, here's your call light. Um, I would take off my gloves, wash my hands, and again, normally I would lower the side, um, lower the bed, and raise the side rails. All right. And here's your call light. Okay. And I washed my hands already. And I'm going to um, document that I, um, how, the, how I left the patient, how the patient tolerated the procedure, um, that the catheter was intact when it was removed, and how many cc's I deflated from the catheter.